Jeez, Jack. What'd you do to the orderly? Of course, he isn't me. Uh, people just more sensitive these days. Oh, it's you. All the way, Jackie. No, without a doubt. Hey, you know, it's been like a revolving door of friends, of family, business acquaintances. So, so what category do you fall into? Well, I'd like to think whenever you're involved, I don't fall into any category. So, Angela Hicks. She's not talking. Too much to lose. I don't blame her. Lucy Chan, she's off the grid. Is your, uh, your guy in the FBI, did he ever find Bet Williams? No, yeah, no. All right. Then Irina Javakin is our last chance to bring Dryden to heel. I'll let you know how that goes. Yeah, well, I'm stuck in this shithole for the time being, so... Is there any way that Sinclair Dryden would know that you're secretly investigating him? Letitia knows, so she might have said... Shit. Do you think he had anything to do with you getting shot? No. No, no, no. That was that was Dan Julo, brothers. They set me up. Jack, how could you be so sure? I could smell the garlic. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, you know, a lot of famous people have died in the fucking hospital. Jim Henson, Fred Astaire, Geronimo. Your old man, he had the right idea, slipping off into the next world from the comfort of his own bed. Yeah. Like, uh, like Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong, sure. Yeah, he, um, so my father, he would drive us past Sashmo's house in Corona, Queens. He'd he take my brother and me to what I still think ranks as the best Italian ice in all five boroughs, right? I could never understand how a guy as famous as Louis Armstrong would, you know, live in such a modest bed. He and his wife, Lucille, they never had kids, you know? But, uh, I don't know, they still managed to make that little house a haven. She was his family. So I guess, I don't know, I guess two is all being a family takes. Maybe even one. <laughs>